guys, Chili Beast here. Today I have a food review for you coming from um, all the way from Toledo, Ohio. And that is Tony, is it Tony Paco's hot dog sauce. Now a friend of mine, Eric, sent this to me to review. Um, I work along with them. Um, uh, what's the company I work for? Um, I'm not going dis to disclose the company's name, um, but we work together. Good friend of mine, um, and he thinks very highly of this. And wanted to you know. I come from Rhode Island, and Rhode Island, along with Chicago, New York. Um, probably Boston and I guess Toledo, Ohio is, is very serious about their hot dogs so I hope this impresses me um, so I'm gonna go heat this up and try this on a hot dog I'll be right back guys okay so we're back and take a look at that little package actually was like kind of uh, somehow kind of like doubled almost. So it was quite a bit actually in one package. It was like enough for maybe about um, maybe seven or eight hot dogs. So I have the hot dog. Wow. That is really good. Very good, guys. Check it out. Very delicious. Um, it's like a delicious chili, chili dog, basically. But... What really surprised me is that this came out of a can, manufactured. Um, I mean, this, this tastes like somebody actually made this, um, and it was fresh, freshly made. I mean, was, this is surprisingly very delicious, um, considering it came out of a can. Um, <clears throat> Now this is uh, very different from the meat sauce from Rhode Island. Um, this is a little bit more like a like chili almost versus like Rhode Island, where it's more like a minced meat kind of like um, slowly cooked meat. Over it takes a while to to, to make it and. Um, marinate and some stuff. Um, this is more like a like a chili basically. <clears throat> Very delicious. Um, definitely worth buying guys. You can I, I, I saw you can buy this on Amazon. Um, I'll have a link for Tony Paco's website. Um, okay let me give you the ingredients list. Um, Ingredients, beef, water, chili spice, which is chili pepper and spices, and it's not hot, not even a little bit hot. So it's probably paprika, 
and I'm, I'm tasting um, cumin and definitely tasting the, the garlic. Um, so we got, next up is textured vegetable powder. It's just soy flour, probably for to thicken it or to keep it um, to keep it nice and thick, I guess, consistency. Uh, next is caramel color, sugar, salt, modified cornstarch, garlic, and soy lechon, whatever that is. <clears throat> Thanks again, Eric. Like I said, I'm from Rhode Island, where they take hot dogs very serious. You don't go and ask for ketchup in Rhode Island. You'll get, like, dirty looks. Rhode Island, you put mustard, onions, celery salts, and they, they have a special meat sauce. But basically, mustard, onions, and celery salt. That's it. Here we go, guys. I have a Carolina Reaper from Allegheny Farms. Like I said, guys, this is really a real steal for, I think, like four bucks for a delicious um, hot dog chili sauce. Also, um, I want to give out some people, some people a shout out I work for. Um, Sherry, Jensen, Ty, uh, Justin. Um, uh, Kaimi and <clears throat> Hung. Who else? Anybody else? And uh, Greg. So that's it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. And Happy New Year. Bye, guys. See you next year.